Greetings, y'all. It's Matt from the Green Arcade, back playing some more Farming Simulator 17. Hey, we're back on the old farm, and uh, we're going to do some cleanup work because we want to do some building work. We're going to build a building. So let's get some of this stuff kind of moved out of the way. Got a train in the background. Trains are rolling. They're hauling that grain out of here. All right, where can I park this? Where can I park this? Tell you what, right here looks good for now. Right here. Here we go. All right. And I'm not gonna be able to make that turn. Turned on around here. So yeah, uh, Black Sheep Modding, the creators of this map, I do believe, released their uh, storage hall building. Not sure if that's the official name for it, but uh, it's been out for maybe a few days now. And I'm just getting to the point where, you know what, I want to uh, build it. So, we're going to build it. I've got plenty of storage already for the tractors, but I mean, I could park maybe some of this junk in there. Trailers or cedars or something. Maybe the cultivator. I've actually got room for more than one back here. Oh, can I not hook up to that? Takes a three point. I have to go get a tractor. And I've got extra sugar beets in here. So, let me park it beside the silo with all the sugar beets in it. I think we've got about 300,000 liters plus of, uh, well, that came off, of uh, sugar beets. Yeah. Let me get a little closer here to the fence on the side. Well, there. Alright, so I need to get a tractor to get that. Let me pull this flatbed over here. I'm just going to park this here for now, right beside this. Alright, let me go run and grab a tractor. Hmm. Gotta move the cultivator. Oh, you noticed something? I noticed something cool. The garden is actually being worked. Like, right now, it's uh, some of it's harvested, some of it's plowed and cultivated. Uh, over time, this changes, and it's actually on the map. I never realized this. I've been how long here? 40 something episodes now and uh, yeah you can see it right there see the purple right down here that's the garden so it's actually being worked I think that's pretty cool uh, they've got some uh, I'm guessing they've got a, like a owner or something doing that or something even though it's not like purchasable so yeah and we can't get in there to plant anything wouldn't want to with that little much space, so we'll let them, we'll let them do whatever in there. But I thought that was pretty cool. So yeah, this is, uh, well, for the most part, this is concrete up here, I think. Uh, it might be dirt. I'm not sure. It looks like concrete. I don't know, maybe that's concrete and this is dirt over here. We can build them on dirt, that'd be alright. We can't, uh, we can't roll concrete textures out with our roller. Alright, I actually need to, I need to clean the sheep up. They got some wool over there. Alright, so we've got this big open space out here uh, to put some buildings down on. So let's grab the building. Uh, let's see, it's under placeables. Somewhere. Over the rainbow there. Nope, there it is. Right there. Okay, so now we have options. There's colors. There's different colors to this. You can get a yellow one. 
You can build a green one, you can build a red one, a blue one, or a gray one. Um, I might build three. I wonder how big they are. Let's start with the yellow one. Let's just start with the first one. Um, and they're actually pretty good size. Uh, let's see how these fit in here. It's actually not a bad size. It's got two doors. Which way do we want to do this though? I'm thinking... Well, you want to keep that door... You don't want to put that directly up against the silage pit. And you need to leave room to get in and out of the silage pit. So maybe this one like this. Maybe we can put it together like a puzzle here. Whoop, too close. How does that look? That look alright? Alright. So we've got a yellow one. Let's go take a look at it. Ooh, yeah. I say that's yellow. It's more of a... Uh, not really yellow yellow. It's more of a... Um, kind of a faded olive drab green, maybe. Let's go take a look inside. Is there another door? Yeah, there's a regular door. Oh, you have to okay. You have to oh, hold O to do it. So yeah, this is a pretty spacious uh, place in here. Got a light switch right there. Yeah, this is pretty nice. You can turn the lights on in here. Uh, you're supposed to be able to open this door. Yeah, you have to hold the button. Can't just push it and it open. So you have to hold the button. It's a fold-up door there, and these just slide open, I believe. One at a time, maybe? Okay, if you just sit here, they will open. So, yeah. Not a bad building. It's got some skylights in it. You could park some uh, some nice equipment in here. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Alright, let's build some more. Okay, so we got the... Uh, I'm going to call that yellow. Just for lack of a better... Let's build... Uh, tell you what, let's build a red one. Put it back here. We'll put the side that doesn't have a door back here. I think that'll leave us enough room to get through there with stuff. Get it as close to that as we can without it going red. We'll get it kind of close to that one. Ooh, something made it. That look pretty good. Looks pretty good to me. Can't get it any closer, can I? Yeah, maybe a little. Just barely bump it. Oop, too close. Right there. Alright, so we got a red one. Yeah, that leaves us plenty of room here. We can get through here with equipment and stuff folded up. Go ahead. I'm going to open these up and let the uh, paint dry. These are not bad. See, that kind of folds up there. It's kind of like a, uh, almost like uh, some types of uh, aircraft hangers. So that's cool. All right, let's build some more. We've got the money, guys. We're not—I mean, they're—they're they're only ten thousand dollars. These are like pole barns. So, uh, let's do a blue one. Where do we want to put the blue one? Maybe like that, kind of right in this corner here. Make sure that's straight. I don't want it too much on that grass. Mm, thinking right there. That looks good. Alright, got a blue one. I 
Turn the lights on here. Okay, that door opens first, and then this door opens, so you kind of have to just hold them open. All right. So we got that. Can we build some more? I think we can. I think we can build some more. Let's see. Where can we put it, though? I probably should have turned that one around. But then the door would have been facing the other way, so... Um... Hmm, yeah, I kind of kind of limited ourselves here. Let's see. By doing that. Guess we could turn it this way. That'd be enough room to get some stuff out. I want to just put it right here in the middle. Right out here. I think that'll work. All right. Ooh, wait a minute, I just saw that. Great demand for sugar beet. Is that a good price? No, it's not a good price. You can get three thirty five for it at Mother Earth. Forget that. Nope, nope, nope. Alright, let's open this up. So we got a green with this. Now this is green. This is what I would call grass green or tomato plant green or something like that. Something to that effect. Alright, so we've got some storage areas here now. Um, I don't think I need to build anymore. There's a gray one right there. And then this is the other hall. This is the one that we used over on uh, the platinum map on Estancia Lapacho. So... Yeah, we don't. I don't. I don't think we need a gray one. I think uh, these right here are sufficient enough. And they are pretty close to being lined up. All right, looks good to me. Does it look good to y'all? We can park some stuff in here and uh, get it out of the rain. It's all lit up. It'd be nice to see what it looks like at night. But, uh, yeah. You know, you could actually, if you had, uh, if we had cows and stuff, you could actually probably store your uh, bales in there if you have a Seasons Ready map. Um, that would be a nice shed to put bales in. Might have to, uh, might have to use these again in the future on uh, one of the new maps coming out. But, uh, we'll park equipment in them, I think, for now. And, um, yeah, so that'd be, that'd be cool. All right. What do we need to do? We need to find our Scorpion King. This is actually where we want to come. I want to come up here and start working on clearing some of these forests. Because I would like to expand this out. Auto save. I wonder why I couldn't move. And that is why. But yeah, we'll, we'll take a look at this forest here. I think we can plow most of this out. And utilize this as farmland right in here. Yeah, this is not too bumpy here. We could plow all of this maybe right up to here. Right up to the, well, really almost right up to the fence. And they'll, we'll just leave that gate closed. They... I don't think you can even, this is just about, ooh, I can walk through it, never mind. Uh, yeah, you can't get vehicles around here anyway, so this is just a uh, installer gate where they installed some equipment or something, but yeah, we can plow all of this up, all the way up to this, uh, to this wall here. Okay, can I walk through that one? Nope. We'll just run across the biogas plant. I haven't done any biogas plant work. I probably will in the next maps, though, I think. I think I'm going to finally get into that. But yeah, we can cut all of these woods out. Well, I said that. This looks like a big... Uh... Well, maybe not. Maybe it's not too bad. It's not too bumpy right in here. 
There are some places on this map that are really, really bumpy. They have like sharp drop-offs. But this doesn't look that bad. I think it's uh, maybe up to here. Yeah, this looks like a, a sharper drop-off right here. So we won't, uh, we might leave these trees. But everything else out here, we'll cut these down. All the way up to that point there. And then maybe up through here. Yeah, see where this kind of comes up that. Well, even this, we could even, this is nice and flat. We could even work this up here. Get right up next to this fence and then kind of veer off here somewhere. Where does it start dropping off at? It drops off there. Maybe turn it like right there. About midways, about midways of this building. Just go ahead and take it that away. Alright, sounds like we got a plan for this. So let's go grab our Scorpion King. And uh, this, I'm just really picking this up where I last left off. Park this here. Uh, still got a lot of work to do with Scorpion King down on that other main forest, I guess we'll call it. Yeah, here we are. Just started getting into this. Um, I've been spending a lot more time over on uh, Thunder Valley. And uh, time is a precious thing. I'm learning this. Um, very, very precious thing. Alright, let's get this out of here and we'll head down the road. But don't worry, we'll be back over here. We're going to get all this cleaned out because this will be nice to have plowed out. This is nice and flat all out through here. And we can expand field uh, 81 into 82 and 76 into 81. So yeah, this, this is going to be uh, a lot of fun to cut here. Now we'll come back and uh, we'll get this cut. Boy, this thing only goes 14 miles an hour. I probably should have brought the uh, the flatbed down. Whoa, power lines. Maybe I need to expand this out a little bit and bring that down. Don't want to clip any power lines. The city of... Well, wherever we are. I don't know that the town has a name. It's the Valley of the Old Farm map, but I haven't seen any town names. So we should name this town, I guess. The Citizens of... Uh, well, you know what? Let's see. It's kind of German. So we'll call it... Mm, I'm not good at German. We'll call it... Well, I don't know that it's German. I mean, it's somewhere, you know, probably in that region of the world. Tell you what, I'll let you guys name the map. How about that? You guys name the map, and that's what we'll call it. The one, uh, whatever the name is with the most comments or... I don't know, whichever, whoever the one person is that comments a name for the map, we'll pick that name. So, leave it in the comments. What do we want to call the city over here? What, uh, what's the name of the town, guys? I was kind of thinking, like, um, something, you know, that obviously is not English, not American. You know, something like New Glockenshire or something like that. I don't know. Something to that effect. Uh, or we can't call it Fichtelberg or anything like that because there is a map called Fichtelberg. Um, we could call it Volkswagen. We could call it, uh, you know, I don't know. Something to that effect. You guys name it. You guys name it. pick that back up now 
So we got a lot of work to do here on this map yet. Lots and lots and lots of work. To, I think most of the tree work I'm going to do off camera. Because I would like to get some more plow work uh, done in combining these fields. So we're getting close to the weekend at the time that I'm recording this. Um, I think I'm going to work on all these trees, getting them cleaned out. Uh, and I think the trees over there on, what is that field? 10 and 11, those up there in the north corner of that. I think I'm going to work on getting those cleared out. I'm going to get these trees cleared out. Um, maybe the trees over by field uh, 31 and 30 while I've got the Scorpion King up here. That way we can kind of expand that out a little bit. I might not take a ton of trees over there. Just enough to bring those uh, fields straight out. And then uh, I think we cut all the trees down by 17 and 18 and 19 already. That's I think that's ready to be plowed. So yeah, we'll just uh, we'll get started on these uh, on these trees up here. It's acting like it's starting to get kind of hazy out here, so it may start raining, which would hamper our tree harvest here. But you know what? Weather's a thing. Hoping it'll be more detailed in 19. And let's go. Let's start cutting. If I can get lined up, I need to zoom in a little bit here. And just like that, we're logging again. This is how we've built our enterprise here on this map. Whoa, it looks like an 80 meter log. Hang on. Hang on. I may not have changed them to uh, six here. Uh, yeah, they're at eight meters. Let me change these to six. I'm, I'm going to do all my logs at six from now on. Just because they fit in the... Uh, I thought I had that on six already. I guess I didn't. I guess I was dreaming. Uh, they fit in the trailer better, and you can pick them up easier with the uh, wheel loader. So all of my logs are going to be at six. man all right guys well that's it I'm turning this help back off so I can enjoy that beautiful hazy sky it looks like it's fixing to start raining here probably within the next hour or so I guess that'll be great in 19 to see you know the clouds coming up so you can say hey it's gonna rain it's about to rain I think that will be very cool very very cool looking forward to it this tree come on here we go all right guys well this is what I'm gonna be doing for a little while here um, uh, like I said I'm gonna work on this off of recording and get this done because we got to get the plowing going got to get it going all right guys remember you reap what you sow it's Matt from the grain arcade we will see you guys next time